Hello and welcome to Saturday Afternoon Football. Anthony Hudson joining you. Welcome to TMHBA Stadium. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. Today should be a great match. Today's big game is between Geelong and the Bulldogs. should be in store for a big game today. That's true, Hutto. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out with us today. Geelong making their way onto the ground. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Western Bulldog wins the toss. Round 20. The opening siren is moments away, and you can feel the excitement building. The game is underway. Stanley palmed it down, hacking it out of there. Bruce gets on the end of this. He slams it towards goal. Western Bulldogs send one home. They get around him after that effort. The first goal of the match. That's a really good team goal. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We resume hostilities. Stanley got in the better position. Stands tall and marks. The kick from Menegola finds a target. 35 metres out. Stanley going for number one. Drop part straight through the middle. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong slot their first goal. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. One down. McRae comes away with the ball. Dangerfield picks up the loose ball. Kicks hurriedly. Ball off hands. Williams kicks hurriedly. The ball in the hands of English. Stephen couldn't complete the tackle. Gets the handball away. He's got the football now. Trying to avoid everything out there. Henry lobs the handball. Great tackling technique. Doing well to intercept that kick. Blitzarves moves it now. Over the top of the pack. Elects to kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Crozy will kick from beyond the 50. Going for goal number one. Managed to get a hand to that one. Henderson deciding where to go with the kick in. Selwood leading the race to the loose ball. Put his body on the line. Just goes bang. Charges with intent. Lloyd hit the man hard. Handballs. Western Bulldogs by two points. Henderson looking to bring it back into play. Now with a low spearing kick. Jenkins found a way to mark that one. Looks up with a kick. 
strong with the body and wins the mark. Henry collects the kick. Hawkins looks to get onto the football. Dunkley slick with the hands. Fogarty brushed off easily. He gets his hands on the footy. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Use the hands and gives away the free. Johannesson determined to reach the ball. Jenkins can link up through hands. Kolejasny has a teammate on the move. Marks in a bit of space. He gains possession. Gives a don't argue. Hawkins with the ball. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Geelong in front. Thumps it clear. Takes possession. Brings it out of the pack. Does well to cut off the kick. Henry drives a low kick. Great mark under pressure. Ablett kicks it. Williams just landed in his back. Schlenzo going for distance with the kick. Rowan runs after this one. A strong pack mark. Crozier keeps that one low. Finds this and marks well. Dahlhouse puts it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. Moved on by Williams. Picked up now. Gives the old don't argue. Dug out by Jenkins. Umpire calls for the ball. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. We'll have another ball up. Stanley with the hit. Stephen gathers it now. Dug it out. Gathered by Ablett. Dishes it off. He wins possession. Stanley has resources out wide. Hawkins opts to play on. Rowan marks. Big kick required from this distance. Move it on. He decides to go for home. He's excited about that one. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He puts through his first goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Wins the ruck duel. Norton collects the loose ball. He can take off after that handball. Getting pushed out of the way was Kolejasny. He gives chase to the footy. Loy slams it onto the boot. He goes it alone. The loose ball scooped up. Henderson to bring it in. Plays on from the kick in. He takes it across the line. Ball back into play. English guides it down. Collects the loose ball. He lays off the pass. Up for grabs for Menegola. A bit too hard with the push. And it's a free kick. Kick by Jurey. And the mark will be paid. Taylor uses it by foot. He wins the ball in the air. Uses it across half back. Takes the mark all by himself. Blitzarves has resources out wide. Out of bounds, right on the 50. The ball is coming back into play. Guides it down. Bruce earns a free kick. Putting this one through would give Western Bulldogs plenty of confidence. A 45-degree angle for this shot at goal. The Cats have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Chose to kick it. Daniel wins the ball in the air. It's only a behind. They're really struggling in front of goal. Western Bulldog keeping in touch. Geelong has started well and lead at quarter time. Geelong started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. Let's analyze the stats. 
Geelong have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Much appreciated, Gaz. The second term ready to get underway. Back in the middle now. Thump clear with the ball now. Williams elects it. Uses the bump. Suckling slips high and gives away the free kick. Hawkins looking to track down the footy. Picked off the deck. Great tackle. He's got the footy in his hands. He has the ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. Decides to kick. The mark is taken by Rowan. With a driving kick. Menegolic with the mark. Keeps going. Runs it over the boundary line. Puts it on the boot. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Is in his possession. It'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. English thrashes it. Decides to keep it alive. And the ball ends up over the line. Colin Jasny getting a chance for a break. Umpire tosses it in. Jenkins gets onto the ball. Croziak sends it clear of the contest. Mops up the loose ball. They can link up now. Fantastic pressure there. Ball gets cut off. A lot of possessions for him. Movement by hand. And now Dale. Daniel gets on the end of that handball. Gow is just through it. Puts boot to ball. Stewart marks in a bit of space. Couldn't take it. Crozier unable to lay the tackle. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Uses it by foot. The ball mopped up. Finds the loose ball. Hurried kick. Finds himself in space and marks. Hawkins goes with the kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Moves it quickly. Doesn't take the mark. Scoops it up. All kinds of pressure being applied. Great attack on the ball carrier. Couldn't keep the ball in play. And it'll be a throw in. Jenkins clears the contest. He might kick a goal. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Stanley with a big fist on it. Goes off the ground. Selwood applying physical pressure. They can create from this. Sends it clear of the contest. Turns it over there. Rushes with the kick. Henderson over the top. He spears the ball. Marked by Slensog. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Gets a quick kick away. Good mark there. Goes with the kick. Heads onto the ground. Now we will get a ball up. Thump by Stanley. Fantastic chase and tackle. Dunkley finds a way to hang on. Big tackle. Going for goal number one. Just leaves it in his wake. Great goal. He's excited about that one. Western Bulldog close the gap to two. Centre bounce. Swats it. Collected by English. Schlensog shows some physicality. Schlensog to get the free kick. Taylor takes the mark uncontested. Has it now. Receives the handball and takes off. Menegolo marks it. Moves it by foot. Terrific mark there. McRae sends one up towards the wing. Intercepts the ball well. 
stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Rowan right on the edge of his range. Moving on. Going for goal number two. He delivers with a drop pass. He acknowledges the crowd. Geelong by eight points. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch, Hado. Plenty of excitement. Geelong have got on top in the contested possessions. It's one of the key reasons they lead right now. Stanley wants to keep it moving by hand. Fogarty takes a strong mark. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one. He's enjoying that goal. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 14. Winning it was Stanley. Is in his possession. Duncan just goes bang. Dug out the loose ball. Rowan was taken high in the tackle. Slams it on the boot. The ball finds Dangerfield. Good opportunity for Geelong to put a goal through here. 40 metres out. It on. Goes for the goals. Puts it right through the middle. They increase their lead. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong with a handy break. They lead Western Bulldogs. 36 to 16. Bonson Pally a bit too casual with the tackle. Marks now and can send it back. Jeray drives the kick. Ablett dug out the loose ball. What a fantastic goal. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. His teammates rush over. We're back in motion. Punches are clear. Takes possession. My ball, says the umpire. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Couldn't quite racking up possessions now. Half time and it's Geelong 42 to Western Bulldogs 16. Geelong will go into the rooms at half time with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Western Bulldogs have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beaten. Thanks. With so much on the line, I'm looking forward to this second half. The third quarter about to get underway. Back in the middle to resume play. Stanley thumped it clear. Dahlhouse clean from the half volley. A solid mark from Jenkins. Almost directly in front here. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Jenkins celebrating hard. The lead is now 32. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Western Bulldogs are giving up too much free space on the opposition. They're allowing them too much room and easy contested ball. Gathers it now. Lloyd does get the handball away. Picked off by Stanley. Ablett squeezed the handball through. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Stanley does well. He's got the football now. A chance for Bontempelli. Just put it on the boot. He gets above the crowd. Trengo elects to kick. A race for the loose ball. The ball spills in the tackle. Applies a bump. Hits him hard. Menegola hacking it out of there. Strong mark in the contest. Moves the ball by foot. A mark by Williams. Tips it towards half forward. 
Finding the loose ball was Jenkins. Daniel knows they desperately need this one. Can he deliver? Kicks Goldwood, but it won't have the desired outcome. They want to make more of those opportunities. Western Bulldogs reduce the margin. Geelong have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Buse dug it out. A long driving kick. Duncan marks uncontested. Sinks the slipper into it. Ends up marking uncontested. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. Dale moves it now. A good mark under the circumstances. Sweeping handball. Fends off the tackler. Looks to move it by foot. Spent that one before he earned it. Duncan not getting much of it, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Norton off the deck. Daniel needs to execute this shot at goal. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. Of course, Hutto. That's his first. Smiles all round. Western Bulldogs now only trailed by 25. He did really well there and gets the reward. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It's quite simple. Geelong won more of the ball and have been able to create more opportunities in front of goal. Coughed up by Dixon. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hutter. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Dunkley kicks the ball deep. Lloyd scoops it up. Cleanly picked up. Williams heading to the bench. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Bonson Pallet soccer's a kick. Releases by hand. He gains possession. Marks all alone. Alex to kick it long. It's a turnover. He gets another possession. Penetrating handball. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Dangerfield hunting with authority. Great tackling there, Hutto. A chance to reload the attack now. Keeps the kick low. An easy grab for Duncan. Dropped the mark he should have taken. Going for goal number one. He slots this one. A big goal there. He loved that one. 31 points the difference. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. The Bulldogs are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. They just need to convert those into scores. Dale just took way too long. A great defensive effort. A strong mark in the pack from McLean. Goes by foot. Applying the physical pressure. Dixon landed in his back on this occasion. Got boot to ball. Scoops up the ball. It'll be a ball up. Geelong need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. I'll have it. English won the duel. With quick hands, has a man running for him. Wins the race to the ball. Gets the loose ball. Stanley coming onto the ground. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Tap down. Dangerfield, the number one ranked player on the ground. He is dominating this game. He wins possession. Bruce wins the foot race. Now it's a ball up. Won it down. 
Ablett charges with intent. Picks up the loose ball. Ends up with Selwood. Got the hands free. Henry finds possession. Lobs the handball. Rowan read it best. And the chance at goal is taken by Geelong. That's his third. He's doing his job out there. Celebrating hard. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Slapped away. Dangerfield knew what was coming. Turned it over. Taken by Norton. Gowers wins the marking contest. Wants to keep moving. He drives it. Crozier will be upset with that. Guthrie pushes his opponent off with one hand. Oh, Three-quarter time. Geelong, 60. Plays Western Bulldogs, 23. A quarter of footy to go. Geelong will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Anything to add, Gaz? Western Bulldogs are getting beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. Thank you, Gaz. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Taps it down. McRae on the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Stephen keeps coming. With the ball is Stanley. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Suckling uses it by foot. Wood has resources out wide. The mark has been taken. Kicks the ball deep. Hunter gets in a good position. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. And we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? 
I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Uses it now. Nice mark under pressure. Crozier to have the shot from outside 50. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for distance with the kick. Great mark in the pack. Sinks the slipper into it. The ball spills to Ablett. McLean gets the loose ball. Dahlhaus there to mop up. Puts it on the boot. Half it with an easy mark. Going for goal number one. A big contested grab. 15 metres out. If they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Jenkins delivers with the goal. Gets him a reward for his efforts. That's three in a row for Geelong. Margin getting dangerous now. English just slaps it down. Kolejasny onto the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Manufactures the handball. Rowan runs after the ball. Nice hands. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. The Cats forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. A must-kick goal here. Western Bulldogs are happy about that one. Gowers celebrates with the fans. Margin in a really tricky situation. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Geelong could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over, which doesn't make it as dangerous. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Crozier manufactures a handball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Simply outplayed his opponent. The Cats are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead doesn't hold on to the mark got hands to it the loose ball picked up slams it onto the boot the ball goes over the boundary close to goal Hawkins now heading to the bench for a break ball over the boundary line toss back into play won the hit out puts on a big hit Crozier goes off the deck and nails the goal. Congratulated by his teammates. That's two in a row for the Bulldogs. They'll have to play it perfectly from here to get over the line. Connor Jasny puts his body on the line. Intercepted. He gets his hands on the footy. Slips the handball to Stewart. Crozier throws the ball away. Dangerfield kicks it. Stanley grabs that one. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Ends up turning this ball over. Nice work from Hunter. Kicks along the wing. Dixon found some space and marked. Uses it by foot. Drops the ball. Dale needs to live. He needs to find a way into this game. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. He's excited about that one. Western Bulldog could kick the last three goals. Still plenty of work to do from here. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Western Bulldogs need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting lots of uncontested ball and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. Bruce goes by hand. English rushes with the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Puts boot to ball. Duncan, the better man there. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Blitzarves drives it long. 
Daniel with a chance if he can keep his cool. McLean keeps it moving. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He celebrates hard after that. Western Bulldogs have kicked the last four goals. And suddenly, they find themselves with a chance. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The game is back underway. Thrashes it. Duncan now. Slick with the hands. Has a runner alongside him. Fogarty has it. 35 metres out. He takes aim. A drop punt through the goals. A second goal in the bag. That pushes the lead further out. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Fogarty. English thumps it clear. Duncan with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Jenkins just gets it out of the boot. Dangerfield takes the mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Looking to kick goal number two. They would have loved to capitalise on that opportunity. The margin is 26. Suckling assessing the options. Decides to play on. Gets it away under pressure. Just gets it onto the boot. Takes a strong mark. The Cats haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Not their best performance. And Western Bulldogs will be searching for improvement for their next game. The Cats did what needed to be done. They played hard, took their chances, and in the end, walked out with the victory. The final scores are in. Geelong, 73. Western Bulldogs, 47. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.